Alright, hey guys, come here. So, um, today I'm just gonna do the tutorial how to set up trains for Hammer at Seafarer. Let me just check it's recording, right? Um, like, as you know, Hammer at Seafarer game came out a few days ago. Um, there, there's already a tutorial for it, but I just thought why not just make a tutorial on the trains themselves, you know, because why not, I guess? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you how to set up the trains for Hammer and Seaframe, pretty much. So, um, for the beginning, all you need is literally just the train model itself, you know? And make sure, um, each car is grouped, like, separately, you know? So, you don't have all the parts of the train in one single model, because that, of course, won't work, you know? But, when you've done that, you're pretty good to go. So first up, what you gotta do is um, set up a route. The route pretty much is the area. I don't even know, like the train spawns or something. I'm not really sure to be honest, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you how to do that. So what you gotta do is just get a part. And what you gotta do now is um, scale it up to the train. Like it has to be the um, length of the train, you know. So the train length. Well, the train is starting over here, so like this, and the train, yeah, uh, the car is ending pretty much over here, you know. So scale it up from the beginning until the end of the car, pretty much. Um, then you do the same with the side, so um, you scale it up to the end of the sides of the car, you know both sides as well so like this and then you also gotta um, scale it up to oops god my Wi-Fi doesn't like me so it's both the seats you know so pretty much just the entire train uh, like, oh god what am I talking about like the entire car but just it's pretty much Bro, bro, I don't even know how to explain it, but I think you got it, you know? So pretty much the route is just the size of the car. Now, when you set up the route for the first car, you have to do the same for the second one. So the second one starts right after the one, uh, car one. And then you also scale it until the back end of the train. Whoops. So, like this. Alright, then, when you've done that, you can just make them transparent, whoops, there we go, and put them in the train model, so, let me do that real quick. Alright, so, um, whoops, ah, uh, my Wi-Fi, oh, god, I don't know my Wi-Fi, um, and yeah, make sure the parts I call it root. Then, when you've um, put in the parts in the model of the train itself, you have to put them in the correct car model. So, this route is from car 1, so put it in that car. And the second route is from car 2, of course, so just put it in there. And then, just continue that, that those steps until you have reached the end of your train, pretty much. So, when you've put the routes in the cards, you literally just have to um, select them as a tr uh, primary part, so select the model itself and um, then properties, you see the primary part over here click on it and then click on root and then a white box should appear around the root pretty much then do the same for the other cars, I just have two but just continue it how, how many cars you have if you just have a single one like for Eurofighter trains yeah, just have one route itself and just one car, you know, so that should be no problem. Alright, so, when you've done that, you have to um, create attributes. So, in car 1, pretty, well, you have to do it in all cars, of course. You also have to scroll down in properties until the end, and then you'll see attributes down here, you know. Then you have to add an attribute. Um, it has to be a number attribute. 
and it has to be called bank. Alright, when you've done that, you just click on save and do the same thing for all your other cars pretty much. So again, number, thingy, uh, attribute, and call it blank. There we go. Alright, so what you gotta do now is select um, the car and get the length of the car pretty much. So what you can do is, let me just get the script real quick. Um, where is it? Wi-Fi is slow. Oh, let me see. Ah, found it. So, what you can do is, it's pretty much the easiest thing. Down here in your comments tab, just paste the script. I'm gonna put it in the description of the video as well, if I don't forget it. So, um, select the model of your car, and then just um, put the script in here, and make sure your output is on. And then just click enter, and then you will have the length of the car, pretty much. So what you're gonna do, L about it do now is copy the length of the car, and then um, at your attributes, you have to put in that number. So in train uh, car one, you have to put the length of car one, of course. Um, and then let's do the same for the second car. And that's a different length, of course. So copy that. Oh, hello. Ah, all right. So copy that. Oh my God, I'm stupid. Alright, so copy that again, and also put it in your attribute. Oh, um, oh crap, I just realized I forgot something. Uh, I hope this won't mess up everything for you guys. Um, but what you gotta, um, be careful about is when you're creating the roots, the right side of the root has to face forwards, pretty much. So how to check that is pretty much just, um, take an image. You see, doesn't matter, just any picture pretty much. So that's the front. And as you can see, it's already the right side for me. Um, but if it isn't the right side for you, like if the right side is on the left of the train, for example, you have to rotate the root and sadly scale it again. Um, but yeah, I mean, that sucks, of course, but. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? So, when you've done that, you're pretty good to go. Um, but you also have to, um, yeah, make the roots on can, like, can collide off so you can collide with them so you can actually sit down on the train. So make sure to go in properties and then click can collide off. And yeah, to um, create seeds, literally you can just yeah, like you have to just use normal seats, you know, so just put them in correct position and yeah, I think then you should be good to go. Um, so after when like the train is walking, of course, if there's any issues, just type down in the comments if you need any help. I'm always free to help, of course. Um, but what you also gotta do, like when the train is walking, um, but the wheel uh, offset is like the wheels are in the rails pretty much. You can go into replicated storage, then in post info, track, settings, and then the up offset. You can like play around with that until you have the correct number. The higher it is, um, the higher the wheel sets are. So pretty much, like if the wheel sets are way too high, you can also go on like minus something, like minus 52 even if you want. Uh, but you know what I'm, yeah, I'm saying, I think. So, yeah, um, I think I've covered everything. So, whoops. My Wi-Fi hits me again. Yay. So, yeah, um, I hope this tutorial helped you guys. If there's any questions, as I should say, as I said, just post them into the comments. And, yeah, um, have a nice day.